Excuse me, can I please talk to you for a minute? Instagram makeup like pictures I like often on Instagram I've got really itchy nose pictures I like quite often on Instagram and it's just like a classic it's really neutral colors um, pretty matte kind of eye and lip um, but it's pretty much just what a lot of girls seem to wear on Instagram including myself so if you want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep watching right so I'm going to be talking to you today so first of all, I've only primed my face, just using, as always, my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. So starting off with foundation, the YSL Fusion Ink in B50, and I'm just going to use the applicator to dot this around my face. And then just using my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to pounce this into my skin. Um, it looks like I've already got my eyebrows done. Um, it's because I literally just got them done, so I have them tinted. So when I've had them tinted like the first day, it basically looks like I've had my eyebrows done, even though I haven't. So that's quite handy because I won't be needing to do them. That's better. My brightness on my camera is like really high. So I've already applied one coat kind of thing, and then I'm just gonna go over and just apply it just a tiny bit more wherever I feel I need it. spot on my chin so I'll just put a little bit more there. That was a bit much, didn't need to put that much on. So today is the 2nd of December and I am trying to vlog this but I'm not going to be doing like the daily vlogs. Well I am, I seem to be doing it, I'm really confusing everyone. Basically I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be daily vlogging so I've been vlogging yesterday and today and then as long as the footage is alright, because I've never really vlogged before, like, you know, I don't really vlog that often, unless I, like, go away on a trip or something, like, I don't really vlog. So yeah, unless I'm, like, away, I've not really done many vlogs, um, so I'm kind of new at this thing. So I basically, I have vlogged yesterday and today, and then on, like, Saturday, Sunday, I am going to obviously see what it looks like. And as long as it's obviously okay, like it's half decent footage, you know, like it's not like really shaky and blurry, because that's what seems to be my problem, then I'm going to be uploading it probably every Sunday. So it will be like daily vlogs into like a weekly vlog. So it'll be me daily vlogging, but you'll just see it in one lump as a week. So that video probably will be really long, like maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour-ish. Um, I just think I don't really do that much interesting stuff so I don't feel like I would have enough to like put a vlog up every day because I don't really understand what you're supposed to vlog like today for example yeah okay I vlogged me going to get my eyebrows done but then I've come home and I did vlog a tiny bit because I had to cut my extensions so I vlogged that but then now I'm filming so obviously I'm not vlogging so then it's a bit like I'm just gonna have dinner and then that's it. It's not really very interesting, is it? So I thought I'll try doing it like the weekly way, so put it in to one video. But let me know what you think, because if you hate that idea, then I just won't bother. <laughs> or I'll just put up random days if you prefer. Just let me know what you think. Um, the concealer I just used, by the way, was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 10. I've just, I've used this one quite a lot recently, I really like it especially for a drugstore one, I think it's really good. And then I just, I'm tapping it in with this Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush. And then I will go back in with um, my Beauty Blender as well. I just sort of tap in the majority. And then I go back in with my Beauty Blender. I use the opposite side though, so like the pointy side. So I use the 
the bum for the foundation and then I'll use the pointy side for the concealer. I do put my foundation and my concealer over my eyelid because I don't really tend to use eye bases that much. I mean I do sometimes but not that often. Right, yeah it feels ages since I've done like a talking to you kind of video. It feels really weird. I keep forgetting to speak. Um, so I did this in my last video um, where I basically once I've pressed that in I just go in with like almost like a second coat but just in this bit here. You see where I've got that kind of creasy bit? I just apply a little bit more there and then I just let that kind of sit there for a minute while I do my cream contour. Totally not necessary. I just feel like it makes a difference to my under eye area. So to a cream contour I'm going to use my um, LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one is in the shade Espresso. So I bridge your nose and a little bit underneath, Ooh, a lot underneath <laughs> and a little bit down the sides. I haven't contoured my nose in ages actually but since we're doing like a Instagrammy makeup look needs to be done. Um, right, I'm gonna take on my Sigma. Everyone kept asking me what this brush is and it doesn't have a name on it. I think it's from the, oh, is that a name? But it totally does have a name, you know, I didn't see before, but I can't see what it says. It's like a cream, cream EO5, maybe? It's in the, I think it's called the Ethereal, Ethereal set. So it's for cream. And I'm just using it to soften this contour which looks crazy right now. So as you see, I didn't put any of this on my forehead purely because I like, have quite a small forehead. So I just drag the excess of this round to my temple area. Oh, I've got to do my jawline. Gotta get rid of that double chin. And then just soften this nose contour. So I'm just kind of patting it at the moment just to soften it. Right, and then Beauty Blender over the top. And then we also soften this with this. You can see I'm just kind of pouncing over it. So I want to know whose vlogs you're excited, who's doing Vlogmas that you're really excited to watch. I'm excited to watch my friend Layla, Makeup by Layla. She's doing Vlogmas. She started actually a new channel to do it on, which I think was a really good idea. Um, so I'm excited to watch hers. Um, I don't know if Jordan's doing it. She keeps changing her mind. Obviously, if she's doing it, then obviously I'll watch hers. Set my under eye area using my MAC Light Plus powder on my e.l.f. blush brush. Oh, and also Mariana, I think that's how you say her name, Mariana, Mariana Hewitt. She's quite, I guess she's a little bit more of like a fashion blogger, but she does have YouTube as well, and she's doing it, so I'm really excited to see hers. I watched one of her first day a minute ago, and it was really good, it was like a day in the life of her, well obviously that's what Vlogmas is, but it was a day when she was actually like vlog shooting and stuff, which obviously I find really interesting because that's what I do. So it's nice to see what other people do and their setup. although she uses like a professional photographer, well I obviously don't because she's big time. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer to set the other areas and also bronze up the face a bit more. I'm looking a bit white. So going into my trusty Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer in 30M. You guys know this is like my favourite. I'm going to take this on. I'm going to take it on this e.l.f. blush brush first of all. This is the e.l.f. mineral powder brush just because it's quite flat and it's quite good at getting in to help define that contour here because you can like, use it to push up. We are going for a fairly strong contour because like it's Instagram makeup. Sorry, if you're not snoring. It's like hanging off the bed. Um, but yeah, because Instagram makeup, obviously, it's pretty strong. But we do obviously want it to be blended as well, not just like strong contour. It's awful. So I go back in with my real techniques. This is like a powder blush brush, just to soften it a tiny bit. Right for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with a cream because we want this highlighter to be popping. So I'm going to use MAC Hush just on my finger to, if you just like 
see where the light catches and then just go in in that area. I'm looking in my viewfinder to see where the light catches because it's much stronger when I look far away. Take this also under the brow bone and a little bit just here and here. So the light just kind of hits those areas. Areas! And down the bridge of your nose and a little bit on the end. And then I'm going to go over it with um, Anastasia So Hollywood on a e.l.f. small tapered. The lash I'm going to take Sigma in Heavenly and on a small tapered e.l.f. brush like your Neapartisan ice cream. And then as always set it with Mac Fix Plus. Right as I said I don't really need to do my brows but I am just going to set them with some brow gel. This is the Rimmel Brow This Way in brown. I'm basically just using this to make sure there's no like powder left in them. Oops, don't do that. Right, so moving on to the eyes. Um, I'm just going to reset them really quickly with the Fix Plus powder because obviously we just sprayed Mac Fix Plus so I just want to make sure that any shadow I put on now is not going to get stuck. So make sure that if you put a base on or a concealer, it is well set. So taking Fawn by Anastasia on my MAC 217. So I'm going to work this into my outer V area and this crease at this side. I'm not going to bring it all the way in, just to about there. I've done so many like shimmery, sparkly, glittery looks recently. I really want this one to be pretty matte on the eyes. Okay, once you've done that colour. I'm then going to go into Morocco, which is this one here. It's like a really, really warm, dark, burnt, orangey, browny colour. I'm still on my MAC 217 and I'm just going to run this in the same area, but a little bit more in the crease because this is slightly darker. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye. You can see, obviously, I've left the lid space completely bare, like this bit because I want it to be like that. I'm just going to map out with black eyeshadow. This is Makeup Geek Corrupt. And just on a flat brush, I'm just going to run this also because I might just slightly smudge the edges of the winged liner. But first of all, I'm going to go in with my liquid liner. This is the Maybelline liquid liner in matte. I need this mirror closer to me because it is far away. Okay, so I'm kind of just following what I've just done with the shadow. I'm going to do like really, really thin in the, in the middle not the middle, the inner part, and then obviously winging it out, sort of similar to how I've already done it. As you can see, so I'm only taking it sort of thicker once I get to the centre of my eye, and then I'm just connecting it over here. So you can see, I'm so lovely. So you can see I've just gone over like where I put the black, but not right to the edges of the black. Okay, and then go over with the black eyeshadow, and just tap over it one more time. And then with your MAC 217, we're going back into Morocco and we're just going to kind of blend that black in that out, just in the outer. So you might need to just take a tiny bit more black. We're just going to soften that black line. Okay, before we move on to the lower lash line, I'm just going to apply some mascara and false lashes. I'm actually just going to quickly pop these on off camera because otherwise we'll be this video will be super long. So I'm using the Velour Rich Fluffy Lashes, so I'm just going to pop them on and I'll be right back. Okay, so once your lashes are on, I'm just going to go over the liner just a tiny bit, just to make sure that they blend. It's more just in that outer part, the inner seems to be fine. Okay, I'm just going to tight line that, um, I'm going to tight line, <laughs> just to make sure it's really black underneath here. Right, so lower lash line, I'm going in with my nude liner, this is by 17, and it's, oh no, this is by Jordana, I found it, I thought I lost this. This is in almond, and it's almost gone, almond, almond, however you wish to say it. And I'm going to apply this to the waterline. This is my favourite waterline, like nude liner, I thought I'd actually lost it. I just take it into the inner tear down a tiny bit. 
My lips are like really dry and I'm gonna put a liquid lipstick on in a minute and that's not gonna be good. That's just the Lucas Pore Pore ointment. Okay, so back to the flat sort of definer brush and back into that Morocco shade. I am just gonna work this into like the lower lash line, but only halfway across. When you get into this middle bit, just kind of fade it almost. So it just softly blends into nothing. Did I say Morocco? I meant black and Morocco. You basically want it to connect to the, the bit here. So that was pure black then, just to connect it. And then picking up a bit of Morocco, like that. And then take your MAC 217 and just Morocco. I swear I still got so many bits of glitter on my face <laughs> from that last makeup look I did. I don't think it's actually, it's obviously not that on my face. It's just probably where they got like stuck, even though I cleaned my brushes straight after. They obviously just got stuck in there. Annoying. Right, just some mascara to make sure those full C's blend. And also on the lower lashes. Okay, so finally for lips, I'm gonna line them with MAC Lip Liner in Stone. This is a super grey, super grey lip liner. We are gonna be overlining our lips slightly. Uh, so that is what everyone does on Instagram. I feel like though, if you do want to overline your lips, Stone is a really good lip liner to do it because it's so cool toned. It's going to give you like more of a shadow around the edge, making them look bigger, but also a little, a little bit more natural looking. I'm also going to fill them in with this a little bit, like just softly, just so they're not like a harsh line. And then I'm going to go over it with Dosa Color Truffle. Um, so I like to put this as an underlay, so it's almost like a it would give it a cooler greyer undertone, which is just what everyone seems to wear. Um, I could have just used those kind of stone, but I wanted to just show you there's different ways to create lipstick colours. Um, so if you're looking for like a cooler toned nude, then just put like a cool toned um, liner underneath. Because we haven't blended that liner through the whole of the lip, it means the centre will be more true colour to this, and then it will fade to more of a cool toned, which is what I feel like lots of people are wearing at the moment. And um, this is your finished makeup look. Let me just take down my hair. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look, guys. I really hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And also let me know if you prefer it when I just talk more rather than do a voiceover. Let me know which one you prefer. It doesn't really make much difference to me. I can do either option. So let me know which one you do prefer. And leave any requests down below. And I think that's everything. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. And you should go and love yourself.